Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm super excited to share something special with you. A step-by-step -step guide on creating a stunning and innovative four-pointer infographic in PowerPoint. Not only does this infographic look beautiful, but it also includes a seamless animation that will elevate your presentations to the next level. Whether you are a beginner or a PowerPoint pro, this tutorial will give you the tools you need to impress your audience. So let's dive in and start creating. Let's start with creating this triangle. Here we go, change the height to 2 and width to 2. Now we need to rotate this triangle before so that we are in the outline. Now let's go to shape format and more options. Right, minus 45 under rotation. Place it over here. Now let's draw another triangle. Now a different one. Yeah, this one. Now let's again change the height and width accordingly. Remove the outline again. Place this triangle over here, make sure that there is no gap. Now select both the triangles, go to Merge Shapes and Union. So I have this color palette ready of my favorite colors, few of my favorite colors. Now place this new shape, shape rotate it uh, four times. Make four copies and rotate accordingly as per uh, what I am doing right now. It is very easy. You will, you are not going to very much like it. I, I really enjoyed this uh, designing this one because it looks very cool. We are almost done here. The basic shape is ready. Now let's so I'm changing the colors for now, but I am going to change. I'll have to change the colors later because uh, there are few things left. I'm, I'm thinking of creating a circular diagram in the middle of this new shape. I'll explain what I'm, I'm, I mean, but let's finish the coloring first. So I'm thinking of drawing a circle in the middle. I need to make sure that it is actually covering the central part of this new graphic. First, make sure that we are factually correct. We are on the center. Nothing much. I'm just grouping the image, aligning it to center, and now placing the circle to just that center so that the chances of error is zero percent. First, unmerge the image. Now select everything. Select all the graphics. Go to shape format, merge, and fragment. Yeah, the color has changed now to basic, but it's okay. Delete the fragments which are not necessary. Previous color helps you to identify what you need to delete. 
now finally the structure is ready let's color them again as your wish I'm doing it quickly, uh, I'm not putting so much efforts into coloring because I want to finish this video around in around 10 minutes. Now let's quickly add a few basic shapes. So there are four uh, parts of this infographic, so I'm thinking of adding four images. Let's make it about human anatomy or body parts. Let's select four essential body parts, heart, lungs, kidneys and stomach. Those are available here. Okay. Let's place it in our infographic. So now I am reserving things for the heart. <laughs> Sure that the icons are aligned properly. Now let's add numbers to our infographic. Before that, let's add the background the black background which was which will elevate the infographic very much send it to back let's add the title for Four, uh, let's say four reasons. Increase the font size accordingly. Change uh, it to white color font. The black or gray will not be visible. Go to the background. Increase the font size. Let's add the numbers. I want one, two, three, and four. We will change the color uh, as well as the shadow. Properly change the numbers. Let's, let's copy this and create the number 3 and 4. Exactly. Control C and Control V is what I am doing. So we have our numbers. Let's quickly change the colors. If you believe this is very easy, please hit the like button and subscribe the channel for more such videos. This is a series of uh, infographic slides which I will be starting from today. So every 
you know every one or two days later you will see more of such slides and training videos adding some text there are some final touches and uh, then we are ready to go. Some alignments are necessary. Or else the slide will not look neat and clean. Once this is done, we will start with the animation process and believe me, you will love it. Start by selecting all the necessary, all the shapes. Make sure that you are not selecting the background and apply fly in animation. Now let's quickly, uh, let's first open the animation pane. Open the animation pane. And select the number of one uh, shapes and text. So the four things we will select. Also the icon, yes. And go to effect. Yeah. Now do this four times from all the four directions, and you are good to go. As you want, I will be including this file uh, for downloading purposes in the description. Hope you will like this. If you really watched the video and if you really like the work, make sure that you subscribe the channel, you like this video, and first thing first. Let's duplicate this slide, and after that, on the second slide, go to animation pane and delete all the animations. Done. Now, let us zoom out a bit and let's move out the non essential items out of this slide. Just watch me on the slide and you will know what to do. Carefully remove all the parts which you don't want in your first slide. Now here comes the interesting part. Let us increase the size of the blue shape which we created earlier. I think we can manually increase the size. That's right. Make it 
as big just to make sure that it covers the slide vertically let's move it to the side where we want it make sure that it looks straight now place our icons that's it uh place whatever text you want in your slide this is your first slide which is ready uh to save some time let me import some of the text <coughs> that's it the first slide is ready similarly you need to make make three more slides and choose the mod transition that's it the animation is ready the first slide is ready similarly make sure that you are making more slides like these here you go if you like uh, the creativity make sure that you subscribe the subscribe the channel like this video and visit for more interesting videos thank you so much